How does it feel watching it all back? Um, it get, it's quite emotional actually watching it all back. Cause then you're here, you know, because you, you're seeing everybody all together again. Because yeah. it's all gone so quiet in there. Yeah. That it's, it, you know, everybody's just completely relaxed and we're all just like laying around a lot now. How hard w was it for you in there? Um, I, th I agreed with Nigel about the physical side. I thought it was going to be more physical. Would you prefer um, that? I would have preferred it personally right. because I do a lot of physical stuff at home. I'm always in the gym, always training. Yeah. And, and I'm, and I'm a really active person, so the more I can do, the better. So that's why I was always like looking for something to right. do, even if I was just washing up four times a day. I, I didn't mind. Yeah. Well, we heard some of your fellow campers there talking about you being so quiet, yeah. and people back home. Have the been whole saying country's it. talking about. And it. even your mum's been yeah. quoted in the papers saying, "God, I hope she's all right. I hope she's not really unhappy." No. Are you no. Normal? Yeah, she's been quoted saying, "I oh, God, I hope now's, now's not normally that quiet." Is that true? You're very quiet in there. I am pretty well. I mean, I'm just leaving everybody else to get on and. Right. To do you know because every, at the beginning everybody was shouting over each other so just leaving them to it and um, just watching fascinated because there was a lot of strong characters in there wasn't there from the yeah. very beginning did you feel kind of intimidated a little bit um not intimidated i suppose i was just letting them get on with what you know their shouting and carryings on and whatever they wanted to do but um i mean i suppose a lot of it is boredom you know when you're bored you just sort of sit around right and, yeah you know I, yeah. I was bored a lot of the time but just then just trying to make most of it, mm. so I was always yeah. looking for things to do. And there's possibly one person in there who's, who's responsible for your quietness, to begin with, anyway. Let's, let's take a look at this. Yeah, I'm going to nominate Nigel. Um, because he keeps going on about how he wants more challenges, more this, more that, so it's like, well, if he wants it, give it to him. The thing that I found was that he was, he was very moody. Um, so that, all, that brought the atmosphere of everybody else down. Because it was tough to start with the first week, a lot of arguments, a lot of rows. Loads of arguments, there were massive arguments. Um, I mean, I, I'm not, I, would, I didn't come here to have big rows with people, I just came here to have a really good time. And so I, I suppose I was shocked, really, and I was surprised it had, got to the, it had, it had actually got to that level. Mm. Um, so, so I thought best stay out of that. You how, know? <laughs> how did it feel though with all that going on around you? Was it were you kind of disappointed in, in people or, or the situation? I was just, I was just, I was shocked. I was just surprised that, that it was all going to be about just people arguing and maybe not as much about surviving. Because mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a lot more about the survival side and yeah, um, you know, and, and learning more things about that. Do you think there was one person in particular that was more difficult than the rest, or do you think there was one person to blame, or do you think it was an amalgamation of a lot of...? It's, it was a lot of things, I think. I mean, a lot of things that happened I didn't always see or hear, so it was difficult to always comment. You know, you, if you don't know the full, site, the full story, you can't really get involved. And, um, and the more that you're talking about it, and the more you, you know, it's going round in circles and mm. continuing it, and the last thing you want to do is drag it out for the full week that you're there, or full two weeks. Mm. Yeah. So it was. A, I just was hoping that they'd sort it out between themselves and. Mm. Well, because there was one person that you you spoke out about. Yeah, Nigel. No, no, oh. no, no. Take a look. Where have you been, Tara? We, we do need to keep three people here, and there's only a few of us now. So if you're going to go off, you need to let us know. <coughs> Otherwise, we can't do anything. We can't go anywhere. Oh, sorry, so. right off. I won't do it again. She's demanding an awful lot of attention and it's getting really draining. And, you know, we, we've all been here a long time now and we all just need to get on with it. You know, we all wish that we could help her and we all do all the time, but you can't constantly keep looking after somebody. You were, you were, you were nodding there, Julia. Yeah, that. no, it was very nice seeing her go up and down. And it went when the fags weren't there and it wasn't very nice for everybody else. But did, it, did it annoy you? Did it, did it get on your nerves? Because that's, that's the kind of the most confrontational we ever saw you yeah, in the camp. Yeah, and, and that wasn't a nasty confrontation. No, it was the nicest telling off I've ever heard. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, before I, we arrived here, um, I flew with Tara and we stayed in the same place. So, and we'd actually had a really good time. Right. It was myself, Tara and Rona. And um, we, had, we, you know, we had three good nights together. So we actually knew a lot about each right. other and got, you know, maybe closer than I did with the others. Um, but yeah, it was a strain, I suppose, when it was more when her and Darren were together doing all their bickering, and everybody felt that strain, I think, because yeah, it was like constant, you know. The whole every now and again, there'd just be a, like a, you know, an argument erupting there, and it'd be like, oh, not again, you know, <laughs> go over there and do it. <laughs> So but let's uh, let's have a look. Then we're going to go back to the camp now, and just uh, you obviously haven't seen what we see from from no. in here. This is how we watch you every morning. We see everything. Um, but there they all are. There's the three people that are left. Yeah. Who would you put? Who, who would you think's going to win it now? Who's going to um, stay at the very end? 
Tony's got a very good okay. chance, yeah. I think. You got on very well with Tony, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, but, I mean, you see, Tara has been much calmer since Darren left and yeah. since she's had a cigarette, so... And she's, a, she's back to how I knew her before we got right. arrived here. Yeah. Um, and Christine's great. She just mucks in and she's very... She likes everything to be organised I mean, and gets on with it. Yeah. Gets on with it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so... I don't know, but, I mean, maybe... Maybe Tony's got Tony. a good chance. You reckon? Mm. I don't okay. know. Well, that's them. And uh, you, you don't have to look at that anymore now. You can go away and <gasps> just show you this. It's, it's gone everybody. mad at home. Everything's gone mad. And you've been on the front pages of the newspapers. Oh. The sun was supporting you. Were they? They yeah. were indeed. But you've gone now. But you don't need that now because oh. you can go. Thanks yeah. a lot, Nell. Thank you. We've, uh, we've, that's it. We've, we've done with